Welcome to a tutorial video on BitC8. In this video, I'm going to show an example of using text colors to show important terms within dialogue. So let's review what we know so far. We know we can create different interactions within BitC. As part of these interactions, we can use things like page breaks, dialogue, different lists. Some of these lists, like branching lists, reply on, or use that is, <laughs> rely on, use, things like item count and variables. We also now know we can use colors and text effects as part of dialogue. We also have seen how dialogue and page breaks can be broken up in different ways and how we can do things like say item count or say variable value as part of dialogue. What if we combined text effects or text colors across dialogue boxes using the fact that Bitsy will put everything together. That's what this video is going to focus on. So let's look at kind of an interesting case here. So let's say that every time I interacted with the cat, the avatar interacted with the cat within this room, I wanted it to show us information, but I wanted the text within this interaction to be a different color every time. That is, a different color for the number so that it is an important term within that dialogue presentation. Let me kind of show you what I mean here. So I have else, and we'll look at the rest of the branching list here in just a moment. And notice I've got a color applied because we have extra symbols here. So as a reminder, I can select a word or phrase within the dialogue, click on the palette, and it will select me. One of the three colors I have available as part of the current palette within the current room, and then apply that color within the dialogue itself. So previously, I selected two and applied that color, and it, it introduced extra symbols right here. Now notice something a little bit interesting. So it starts here with these sets of curly brackets, runs the, these sets of curly brackets, but these second set has kind of a, a slash in it. So we can interpret, perhaps, that the slash is the end, and the first set of curly brackets is the beginning, and then everything in the middle will have that color applied. Okay, so with that knowledge, let's extend it a little bit. We know previously, if we have multiple dialogue boxes, the text will extend from one dialogue into the next until it encounters a page break or it runs out of dialogue. And remember, within the dialogue tool, things run from top to bottom. So let's use all that information to do something a little differently. So scrolling to the very top of this branching list, and remember a branching list allows us to branch based on some information, generally the item count or other things. And this, I'm asking, hey, if T in inventory is less than 2, I have, you have collected, and then I have the beginning of a color, but not the end. Then I'm saying, say value of T in inventory and text box. Then I have another dialog box with the end of that color so far. So let me show you what this means when we play it. So, if we wanted a certain important term... This is going to say you have collected zero so far. So we are using the ability to add those special symbols, then I move them between text boxes, and we're using the fact that text boxes will merge from one to the next to the next until it either runs out within the dialog tool or encounters a page break. So we can merge a bunch of things together, which is what I've done here. I've had it do the item count, which is what the zero is, but I've had the color start in one dialog box and end in another, knowing that Bitsy is going to merge them all together in final output. So I've collected zero so far, with the zero having the text color. So if we went and moved around and collected all of them, it would say you have collected two Ts, which I have right here. Alternatively, I could have done it the same way at the top and using the same structure. So now we know how we can apply text colors and text effects from previous videos, and also combine that with the fact that we're creating extended interactions. Remembering, of course, that dialog boxes will be merged across each other until they encounter a page break or until the dialog tool runs out of content. Thinking through this, this allows us to do some things that are pretty neat we can start to combine a lot of these things together. So for branching lists in particular, if we want important terms such as counts or nouns or other things, we want to convey that to a player or reader, we can use text effects, as we previously saw, text colors, as this, event, this example emphasizes, and use that information as part of merging different dialogues together. They don't all have to be in the same box. In fact, as long as we're using these special symbols, 
and we can allow Betsy to create them for us, we can we can add them, that is, across multiple boxes and have Betsy merge them all together, creating a very useful way in particular to emphasize a current color or goals that we're setting for the player or reader using these symbols, merging them across dialog boxes, all within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.